Hey kids, I'm so glad to be here with you today. And today I want to tell you about a special word from the Bible that Jesus used. You see this word? This word is shalom. And it's a special kind of peace. Oh, I know what peace is. Uh, I can read your thoughts and that's definitely not what peace is. I can read your thoughts too, and that's definitely not what peace is. Oh, I know what peace is. That's just a piece of pizza, and definitely not what I'm talking about. This word, shalom, is a kind of peace that we can't get from this world. You won't get it on a vacation. You won't get it if you win a million dollars. You won't get it for buying your dream home and you won't get it from being right. This kind of peace only comes from one source, God. In John 14, 27, Jesus tells us, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives, do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Jesus' peace that he gives us is a special kind of peace. It's shalom. Well, you may ask, how do I get this shalom peace that Jesus offers? Isaiah 26, 3 through 4 says this, You will keep, meaning God, you as God, will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. And here Isaiah gives us three ways to receive God's shalom. The first way is to let Jesus be our mindset. We need to welcome Jesus in every situation, every experience, every decision, every conversation that we have every single day. We need to constantly be asking ourselves, what does Jesus want? versus what do I want? And the second way that Isaiah tells us to receive God's shalom is to have a heart filled with trust in God. And our peace becomes broken when we start to depend on other people to provide what only God can provide in our life. And the third way that Isaiah tells us to receive God's shalom is to depend on Jesus as our rock. He alone is our pr protector He's our provider and he's our comforter. He has dominion over all and he's eternal. And I want you to realize how important and life-changing this is. We can have shalom right now. If we put Jesus at the center of our lives, he promises to give us shalom. This shalom will never leave us, not in our greatest trials. So I bless you all to have a wonderful week and I hope to see you soon. Bye.